do not feed it. There it is. What do you do when you're surrounded? When the odds are overwhelming? When it looks like you ain't going to get out of it? You ain't going to escape it? You can't beat it? What do you do? Do not fear. Do not fear. Don't be afraid. What shall we do, Master? He says, don't be afraid. Uh, uh, the, the, the East Texas version, don't be stirred. He says, the reassuring, the reassuring word that came from Elijah is, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. And do you know that this 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 uh, encouragement of not being afraid, that's a familiar refrain in the scriptures. Yeah, yeah. That when you look at how Moses helped the children of Israel with their fear, as they stood there in front of the Red Sea. The Red Sea is in front of them. They can't cross it. Yeah. Pharaoh is behind them. He's mad as H-E-W-I-C-6 yeah. because he let them go and they're and so, and so now they are in the midst of this predicament, and they are looking at Moses, and they are saying, Moses, why you brought us out here? Yeah. It was better that we were slaves in Egypt, Moses. Yeah. Why you brought us out here to die in the wilderness? And Moses said, hush your mouth. Stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. Don't you fear. Just watch God. 